Hello folks and welcome to Keep Productive with ClickUp. It is Francesco here. Today in this week's feature, we'll be diving into ClickUp goals and how you can use them inside of your account to really take more advantage of milestones, targets, and achieving more success with projects. So as you can see here, with ClickUp goals, it's pinned on the left-hand sidebar and you can see it's front and center. Now, when you click into goals, as you can see on my screen, let's just put the sidebar away, make it nice and neat. You can see that I've already created a goal and there's an ability up here to actually create folders of goals if you've got multiple goals on the go. So let's see an example one I created earlier called Secure Partnership with Acme Inc. Now, as you can see, all goals have a, a, a different type of completion. So you can set a goal to be a sort of yes or no completed goal, or you can set a goal to be numerically completed based on the completion of from 0% to 100%. And that can all be customized in which we'll show you in a moment. But you can see here what I've done is I've broken my goal into targets. So once I complete certain elements, it actually brings this score higher and um, will basically show me how far I've completed a specific goal. So inside of this one, I've got a briefing document. I can add more tasks to it and I can even add additional targets. So I'm gonna show you, for example, a goal being broken down into its targets. So in this case, I might say something like edit video as a target as part of this partnership and um, I can give it an owner which is perfect for sharing it amongst team members and allocating specifically to other people as well but you can also see the type of the target and this is what I was mentioning earlier inside of the type of the target you can have a numerical value so for example if I wanted you know the target to be 10 you know 10 kilos or 10 whatever value you want you can have that as a number to reach. If it's a very specific value, that's important because say seven, a lot of uh, tools might not clarify seven as a thing to target, but you can also change the start number two. So for example, if I wanted to start at two and my goal was to reach seven, you can have that as a target. You can also have it as true or false. You can set it as a currency rate, which is perfect for working with specific people like freelancers and tasks as well. Now what's really nice about tasks is you can see here that it's asking me to add a list or a task that it may already be created inside of my ClickUp account. So you can see here I might associate this one with uh, the email campaign with it and um, it means that when I complete that email campaign as part of this, then I'm able to complete towards a specific goal. So you can build up some of your experience uh, around stuff that's already in your ClickUp account, which is pretty helpful. So what's neat about this is let's go and create a goal and demonstrate it. So if I go back to the goals area and you can see that I want to create a new goal is top right hand corner. Let's say my goal is something like finish video project. I can give myself a specific person I'm associating this to. I can keep it as a work goal or a private goal, which is great for sharing with team members or just keeping it to yourself. And I'm gonna set this target as a 23rd of August. And you can add a short description as well, even using slash commands to go a bit deeper in explaining something using some of the ClickUp documents abilities. So I might say this is a project to complete uh, video A for client B, something very generic. And I'm gonna click okay here. So this is my goal. And as you can see, it gives you opportunities to break it down using those targets that we made earlier. But you can also go ahead to these three areas, change the color, move it to a folder. You can even archive it and delete it from there. But what's nice is you have these sharing permissions where you can share it to specific people in specific workspaces or specific people and what access they have per department. And you can even invite um, via email or via uh, via a person that you've already got inside of ClickUp and make it private. So that's how to go ahead and create goals inside of ClickUp. They're helpful for being able to allocate benchmarks and see all of your goals and how you're progressing with them. Um, let's just have a little demonstration inside of this one. Say I've completed this document, I can then give myself a note at the end of it. But if I press save, you'll see a, a celebration of that 
and you'll see that 25% of the project is completed. And in this zoom out view, I can now see that 25% is completed at a glance and that's really, really helpful for that. I've got a few modifications up here. If I did want to, I could sort um, by updated if you've got tons of them and even hide the folders if you don't find much value in them and you can also hide your archive as well. So their goals in ClickUp, helpful for managing stuff. You can download ClickUp and find it in the link in the description if you're fancy checking it out first. Anyway folks, a big thank you. Make sure you subscribe to keep productive with ClickUp for more videos about this powerful project management software. Anyway folks, cheerio.